You guys might be a little bit confused by this one because I've already reviewed this figure right here, but we have the Black Hole Ultra Instinct Goku. And we're actually going to take a second peek and we're going to do a second review of this figure because they made some changes to it. So we're going to open it up. If you don't know already, Black Hole, awesome. Look at this thing. This box is massive. Comes in a nice little shipper. And it has some very uh, unique box art on it. So there we go. God, I love this, especially with Akira passing away recently. It's good to see like some old school Dragon Ball art. Um, love having Kid Goku on there. Side, we got Acme Power. So that's kind of uh, the name that they have to get around the copyright on it. The Black Holes branding. Got Ultra Instinct Goku punching through the side there. So if you take a peek here, you can kind of see what's inside, but we are going to open this thing up and do a full review on everything inside. So this is slightly, slightly, slightly different than the first release. So I'm going to consider it to be a 2.0. So opening this up right away, it's exactly like the first one. Comes with the stand that you can assemble. It does have that clear assemble for it. That, this is actually a pretty good quality stand, too. We are going to cheat. We're going to go straight to the back. So this is why this is the 2.0 version. So it's going to come with these two additional headsets as well as the original four. So this is the mother of all figures. I seriously have said it before. I'll say it again. Demonical Fit and Black Hole Toys is going to be a game changer all these companies that are giving us a ton of accessories and are providing value that way um, are going to win ultimately, I think, against Tamiyashi's. I mean, Tamiyashi Nation and Figure Arts is feeling it. So it does come with this awesome aura effect too. So it's just basically the exact same thing as the Figure Arts one. It's just painted silver. It does have kind of some nice reflection to it. Um, hollow on the inside like normal. It comes with those sides as well. It's nothing too fancy or exciting, but again, you get an aura effect for Ultra Instinct Goku. Pretty freaking cool. This thing also does come with a Destructo Disc for the Ultra Instinct for Goku. So we do have that accessory. Comes with a couple of additional face plates here. So let's open this up and see what we got inside. So it does come with the all white eyes and the closed eye for Ultra Instinct. So awesome face plates. You can see that they have some really good detailing in there. Um, we'll jump right into the head sculpts that makes this one the 2.0. So it's the exact same thing as before. So you kind of have the Super Saiyan 2 style hair, except in the solid pale yellow. And it does give you the windy version in that pale yellow as well. So this is what makes it a 2.0. You get these on top of the original releases. So this figure has been released a couple of times. They were swapping these for the original um, Super Saiyan pieces for a while, but now they're just doing all six, which is just absolutely insane. So it did make the price go up a little bit. So this thing is going for like 65 bucks now. Um, and wholesaling for all. Like reselling on eBay for a whole lot more than that. Does come with all the blank face plates too. So if you can track down those stickers, they're starting to get hard to find. You can just put them on yourself. And we'll jump straight into the figure. <clears throat> so, I mean, this thing is absolutely loaded with accessories. So let's jump into the face plates there. So you do get two more face plates, a third face plate that comes on the figure. And a fourth faceplate up there. So you get six faceplates total plus four blank faceplates on this one. It's insane. You do get the Kamehameha or the energy wave effect on this one. Really high quality, super comparable to the Tamiyashi Nations one. So you can see there's some nice color variation in there. It's legit. I can't really tell the difference between the legitimate one. And then we'll take a peek at the heads. Um, so you do have the base hair. And look at that. You have some really, really good detailing. Some people aren't a fan of this one. It does come up with the small peg hole in there, too. Some people aren't fans of this style. Uh, but I think that this looks really, really clean um, compared to some of the other options out there. Here is the Super Saiyan 2 with the highlighting. 
these are some of my favorite um, hair pieces of all time. Like, this is phenomenal looking to me. Um, so there's a ton of highlighting added into this one. As well as the windy hair, there is a ton of highlighting added to this piece. This looks phenomenal. Um, you can use these with other face plates. So this does work with the Awakened Goku if you can modify the face plates that come with it just a little bit. They do fit in there. And then we'll take a peek at the last one and the figure itself. So it does come with these closed fists, as you can tell in the background too. Comes with multiple different handsets. So it does come with 10 hands total, so five sets of hands. As for the actual figure, so exactly like the original release. Here's the silver hair, so it does have a lot of detailing. Not as much detailing as there is in the base head, but it still looks really, really clean. Um, I am excited for the re-release of this figure. They just announced that Tommy Ashi Nation's uh, Figure Arts is going to re-release this figure, and they do have that new version that just came out too. Um, hopefully they fix this, because this is like this on the bootleg on this knockoff here, this Black Holes version, and it's like that on the original. Uh, but, dude, just look at this. This is a great-looking figure. There's a ton of battle damage on him. Some really good articulation. So it's exactly what you would expect out of, like, a demonical fit. Um, so you do have some really good range of motion. You can get all the way up here. Do have very good articulations at the elbows. You do have a little bit of movement on the pegs there for the hands. Um, you do have the torso crunch still. And this is kind of like demonical fit. Um, it is a little bit more stiff than like an official figure arts, but that is a good thing. There's a ton of detailing there too on the ripped gi belt or shirt. Wrapped around his belt. This looks really, really good. 2.0 body. That's okay. Do you have some articulation in the ankles like normal? Of course, the front portion of the foot can bend. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Again, out of like figure arts or a um, demonical fit. And some really good articulation in the waist. So this one is a little bit more stiff than a figure arts version so this is actually kind of lackluster compared to uh the first version that came out i feel like it's a lot more stiff but that's going to be a thing of the past soon now with all the 3.0s coming out uh but this thing is incredible so i highly recommend this thing if you can pick him up for 65 dollars to get all of these accessories and this amazing figure, I mean, a lot of people highly s seek these parts specifically for customs because you can make so many different Goku versions with it. I would highly recommend it. Um, if you guys like this review, please subscribe. Uh, drop a comment below on what you think. Are you going to pick up the new quote-unquote 2.0 version of this? And let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Um, as of March 20th, until then, we do have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway open if you want to win a free uh omega shenron figure so definitely check that out if that is still up um otherwise let me know what your thoughts are on this figure freezes freezer out